I know that I've always wanted to travel and I want to travel not just um to different parts of Liberia but also to different parts of the world, mainly Africa, discover new places, challenge myself intellectually and meet new people to expand my way of thinking and the way of life. And if one would have told me that the first time that I would have gotten on a plane would have been with my great grandfather who is 95 years of age, I would have smacked you in the face probably <laughs> because I never saw that in the cars. I never ever thought that would happen. <laughs> Anyways, this is me in a plane on my way to Monrovia from Maryland County. And I'm traveling with my great grandfather who is 95 years of age. I took him from Grand Cru County and we're going back to Monrovia. So he used to live in Monrovia and now we're going back because we miss him a lot. And it is such a surreal moment for me. I think you watched the video or maybe you did not, but I'm going to leave it in the comment section. And at a certain point on the flight, I was like a little anxious, but my grandfather was just there sleeping and <laughs> like he was, it, was, it felt like he had done it before <laughs> or something like he was so comfortable like even sleeping while i'm just there you know when the plane going up and they're coming down again i'm like damn god god <laughs> so my aunt paid 335 dollars or more um for my grandfather and i to use the air to come back to Moroville. so shout out to, to my aunt and yeah it is a nice experience the clouds like i'm seeing clouds and it feels like i can touch them <laughs> and i'm in the air and i'm anxious but i like it <laughs> and sometimes i wanted to give up i wanted to like one time <laughs> the plane went off <laughs> then it just came down and then i realized that there's nothing holding us we're just here in the middle of this place and in in this and it's it's scaring and I just sat there, I, I wanted to shout, but then I get behind, so I didn't shout. <laughs> but yay! <laughs> guys morovia looks amazing from the top like wow wow so um we picked up from the airfield in hapa and we use math airlines maf so you can go online on facebook you tap in their airline or just put um plane or flight to maryland county or flight to the southeast and you're going to see their information and you can reach out to them to know more um, about their services. Um, I don't have the answer to questions like this and that about the organization, but you can reach out to them and find out for yourself. And the view of Monrovia from here is crazy. So we're on our way to Springfield, Springfield. No, no, no. So we're on our way to Springfield, yeah. Springfield is located in Airfield. Airfield is a part of Monrovia, it's in Cinco. So I never knew why it was called airfield. I just thought maybe the people liked air or something. <laughs> Anyways, at least this trip allowed me to understand that there is a it is called airfield because planes landed. So if you didn't know that, well, I'm glad that I'm teaching you something new. Call me Professor Law. And you're welcome. <laughs> so we're about to land. We still have like 40 minutes left. 
because the flight is like one hour 40 minutes or one hour 45 minutes from Harper city to Morovia. Morovia is the capital city of Liberia, West Africa. So we're on our way. I just want to say thank you thank you for following my journey to the southeastern part of liberia it was hard it was challenging and i learned a lot <laughs> and, I'm, and, I'm, and i'm starting to tear up <laughs> whenever i'm talking about my experience i i get emotional <laughs> okay let me put my big girl shoe on <laughs> but um it was amazing and it taught me a lot and I really understood the struggles that people are faced with in the Southeast. And I hope my videos reach the people who are able to make serious changes in the Southeast. I got a lot of uh, messages telling me, do not visit the Southeast during rainy season. Do not do this. Do not do that. But I'm glad I did. Thanks for worrying about me. Thanks for following my journey. Thank you for 10,000 subscribers. I'm never going to be tired telling you guys thank you. It has been so hard um, building a community, especially since I found myself in Liberia. But I am so grateful. And trust me, I am never taking anything for granted. I appreciate the support, the honest, genuine support. And for people who don't support me genuinely, I hope one day you'll find a content here that makes you to really like my channel and like my content as well. We're finally in Morovia <laughs> and my grandpa is so excited. <laughs> Cheers to new beginnings and different joinings. Love you all.